Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. Clean Machine is a, a plant-based, all-natural uh, sports nutrition and fitness nutrition, not just for fitness, but for overall health. And this year um, and next, 2021, <laughs> Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, this is New Year's Eve with uh, doing the live Facebook Live. So happy new year to everyone. And I know it's been a challenging year for a lot of people, um, myself included. Um, we've had major um, issues with production. Unfortunately, one of our best-selling products, Cell Block 80, um, has been delayed over and over again because of uh, people out sick that are working in manufacturing, people that um, have uh, gotten the pandemic and the COVID and uh, been out of work, having to replace those employees, um, shipping issues, um, supply issues. It's just been um, really frustrating that we've been out of stock and disappointed so many of you. And I know that's that's been a challenge as many of you really love that uh, Cell Block 80 product as much as I do, but we are rounding the corner finally and finally going to be back in stock hopefully sometime later this month. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm not making any guarantees uh, because we've had so many setbacks and delays so far, but hopefully we'll get this out. But I know this has been a challenging year for a lot of people. So I really wanted to do this one about mindset. Um, because, you know, there's uh, can be a lot of negativity in the news, in the press, uh, a lot of um, a lot of bad news, which is really I, I get it. It's what drives people, gets people to react and respond. And, and there's been a lot of negativity and, and people in politics or in social uh, situations like social media and stuff have really kind of uh, upped that negativity a lot. And I want to. Um, remind people to take this opportunity to bring it down because negativity lowers our immune system. Um, feeling angry, feeling stressed, this lowers our immune system. And this is, this is really one of the worst times possible to be lowering our immune systems, to be adding stress and anger to us. So this is about your health. You know, you're like, okay, Jeff, what, you're a sports nutrition guy. Why are you talking about this? Because this is all part of our health, health and fitness. And stress plays a big role in that. So how can we take control of that and deliver a better mindset for 2021? This is an opportunity to say, okay, 2020 is ending. I'm going to end the behavior that I've been doing, the reactive behavior that I've been doing, and be proactive and be positive and be a positive influence on others. Bring some light, bring some happiness, bring some joy, some support, some love, some empathy to other people because these are empowering experiences. These are empowering thoughts and feelings. And when we are in an empowered place, we feel stronger, we feel better, and it's infectious. People then other spirits get uh, get lifted as well. And one of my favorite phrases is lift heavy weights and lift heavy hearts. Because that that joy when you are an inspiration to others by showing them health, by being an example, by being the best you, being a positive person, being a, a caring person, being a, an understanding person, this can lift your spirits, lift your immune system, help you survive in times like this, but also improve your overall health. It was an interesting thing that uh, I, I used to start out some of my talks when I was doing lectures around uh, the country. I'd have everybody stand up because sitting energy is, well, unfortunately, I'm doing it right now, but sitting energy. Just to remind you, if, if you're at a desk job or if you're um, in a sitting environment for a long time, get up and stand up, walk around, do stuff like that. It'll break that cycle. It'll get blood flow going. It'll get things working again but it gets the energy flow going again and it'll help you think better, it'll help you in, improve your mood. So whether you're at a workplace or at home, um, these can be good gifts to you too as well. So get that action. So I, I, I challenge people to stand up, take three deep breaths and smile. And smiling releases endorphins. It sets a whole cascade of events uh, inside your body biochemically that change your physical health. And I'm like, these are super simple things. Three deep breaths and a smile. 
and you can change a whole cascade of chemical, biochemical um, releases of chemical energies just coursing through your body. You can actually, just by standing in a power pose with your hands on your hip, that Superman pose, right? And, and pull your chest up, just doing that for a few minutes can actually raise your testosterone levels, both men and women, believe it or not. That's amazing that such small things can have such a big impact on our body. The release of endorphins, a chemical cascade of neurotransmitters coursing through our brains, just by three breaths, standing in a positive uh, position, in a confident position, and smiling. These are, you seem like these do nothing, but they do have a physical impact. They affect your immune, your endocrine, which is your hormones, um, as well as your neurochemistry, all affected by these little things. So imagine if you actually committed 2021 to doing a lot more of this, how much more effective could you be at not only improving your own health, having a stronger immune system, but also affecting other people. What happens when you laugh? Other people start to smile or giggle, right? It's contagious. What happens when you yawn? Other people yawn. It's contagious. We are empathetic beings by nature, whether we like it or not. Yes, our mind, our brain can override that. Say, oh, it doesn't affect me. It's not going to do anything. But it does. It still affects us, even if our mind is telling us and trying to convince us that it doesn't. And that is a powerful tool that humans and all animals have is empathy, is we, what we can connect with our family, our friends and, and people like that. But it gives us that strength and power too. And you can be that person that strengthens, that empowers other people, that boosts other people's immune system. You can do that. You can be that person. You can be the positive difference maker. It's very easy to see the negative stuff that goes on in the world, in our country, and even our circles, even when we're driving or even just going to the store, somebody with a bad attitude, let that negatively affect us and take on that negative energy and then start getting grumbly and angry ourselves. That's, that's easy. The strong point, the powerful point, that's why we exercise, right? And muscle doesn't come. Health doesn't come just by sitting around and being easy. No, muscle growth is adaptation to stress. Now listen to that sentence, muscle growth is adaptation to a challenge or stress, right? So we take a weight and it's stressful, it's a challenge to the muscle and that sends our body to increase the blood flow, increase the amount of hormones, increase the amount of nutrition to it, grow the muscle, strengthen it, make it more powerful. Well, emotionally, psychologically, we can do this too as well. Every time we take on the challenge and we adapt mentally, we adapt emotionally, we are strengthening our emotional self. We are strengthening our minds as well, just like we do when we go to the gym and we work out without weight. We are intentionally taking on that challenge. We are causing the stress with intention to improve our overall health, improve our physiques, improve our attitudes. Do you ever come out of gym and you feel like, God, I can take on the world now. The blood's flowing to your brain. You're thinking, got all these ideas popping up. You're like, man, I can start a new business right now. I've got all these ideas. And that's because we have taken on and beaten that challenge. We have made that adaptation. We have adapted to that and our body is busy trying to adapt to the weights or the exercise that we just do. And that's what causes growth, growth in our muscles, growth in our emotional state, spiritual state, our mental state. We want these challenges. They help us grow. Now, obviously, we don't want to be harmed by these challenges, especially irreparable harm or even death. But that's even more important reason. That's why I titled this, Your Health Has Never Been More Important, because we're living in an age of pandemic, which is taking lives over 300, at this time, over uh, 330,000 lives have been lost just in this country alone. Um, and, you know, this is a global impact, so we can all learn from these things. So strengthening your body, strengthening your heart, strengthening your mind in these resolves is literally taking on the challenges, learning to adapt to them, and through these adaptations, become stronger, become more resilient, become more able to live a healthy and fulfilled life. So 
here is the opportunity to let 2020 the events be behind us and start out and say, I'm not, I'm going to stop reacting as much to the negative events and I'm going to start acting. Don't be a reactor, be an actor. Be the one that starts the chain of events. Be the one who initiates the positive events in your life. Don't, don't just react to the things that are out there. Actually make a post. Don't react to somebody's post by making negative comments because they said something you don't like. Instead, go out and say, all right, how has that affected me? And then how can I turn that into a positive and make this a life affirming and positive post? Put that post up there and share that with people. That will make a better impression. Share that with your friends. Share that with your family. Share that with your loved ones. That's the opportunity we all have. Every moment of every day is to make a better difference in our lives as well as in a difference. And when we do that, we're going to make a better difference in other people's lives too. And I saw somebody post today about the three major things. Um, Will, Will Tucker, shout out to Will about there. So I love that post. Three major ways that people use exercise. One is um, for aesthetics, right? We want to look better, want to feel better about the way we look, feel healthier. Uh, two is health. And then three is performance. If you're in sports or you're trying to reach a goal or whatever. But, you know, I thought about that more and there's there's more levels to that. Those are great base starts. But for me, I work out to help inspire other people because I want to try to create change, positive change in this world. I want people to say, wow, you did that and you're vegan and you're plant-based? That's incredible. Tell, I want to learn more. You know, how do you get your protein? I don't mind it when people ask me that because it gives me an opportunity to share something that maybe they don't understand, you know, that all protein actually originates in plants. So these are great opportunities instead of to react negatively to them is to take them in and try to create something positive. This is an exciting time because when we are at our most challenged, we either cave to the challenge or really have to rise to our best self. So think about that. Every time you get even a more difficult challenge, right? If you are taking weights and you push that weight even more, right? It, you're either going to fail, <laughs> which, which is okay too. Failure is, is, is actually a good thing in that because you find out what your limits are. But you also find out, okay, if I practice and, and do good nutrition and do good exercise and, and do those things, I can push beyond that boundary. And I can, when you do get beyond that boundary, when you do get a better weight or do get through a plateau, you know, you drop that weight that you've been trying to hit on the scale, you look better, you feel better. Once you reach those goals, it's so rewarding. And then you get the positive feedback from others. You get the inspiration from others. You get that opportunity to be a positive influence to others. Others that whether you know it or not, you may be changing their lives for the good. And that's such a wonderful gift to give back. It's a gift to yourself and it's a gift back to others. Now, there's a beautiful example of giving back to others. And, and I want to thank um, Rodney, uh, Paul Rodney Turner, who put together um, the group uh, Food for Life Global. Uh, we are donating 10% of all of our uh, sales this month to Food for Life Global. And I'm really happy to announce now that it's the end of the month that your port, your purchases and your support of Clean Machine and, and is not only giving the best nutrition for your body so that you can look and feel your best, but you also in your purchases have donated over 46,000 plant-based meals to feed hungry children throughout the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making one of my longtime dreams come to fruition. With your help and my ability, my wish to donate a portion of our proceeds, we are giving 40 over 46,000 plant-based meals to hungry children around the world. That is just such a beautiful thing. And I thank you all for participating in that. Not only are you doing something good by giving your body the health and nutrition for proper health and fitness levels, supporting your immune systems, 
you are also giving back to hungry children. Now, that's a beautiful thing. We're going to continue to do this give back throughout the year. For every single tub of uh, clean green protein that we sell, we're uh, giving two plant-based meals. So one plant-based tub of, of, of whole food protein for yourself as well, you will actually be feeding two completely vegan plant-based meals to hungry children around the world. What a beautiful thing. We will continue to do that as, as well, forever. <laughs> so um, I want to thank uh, Food for Life Global for setting all this up. And it's wonderful to be a partner with that. I hope you find some things. But I want to leave you with this one story because it was a transformational story. There was a time in my life when I really wanted to tear down everything and rebuild it back in a better way. I had come to a place in my life where things weren't in alignment with what I believed. I wanted to be a more compassionate person, a person that was able to give back to society in bigger and stronger ways. So I felt the need to really strip down all the ideas that I had, let them go and, and re tear it down to the studs and rebuild. Kind of like my Miami Dolphins did in the last two years. They stripped it down, gave, you know, got rid of all the players, got draft picks, and then said, let's build it back right the way we want to. And that's what I did with my own psyche, my own whole self. So I sold everything, gave everything away, and took off and traveled over 48 countries, learned from different cultures all over the world. But one of the most powerful lessons I got, I met a Native American chief in uh, Maine, in the, in the mountains of Maine. And I presented my situation for him. And I said, I want to learn what you have to give. So we did a sweat lodge that day. And I had a, an amazingly transformational experience. In that sweat lodge, I felt physically this outpouring of sweat, just like just like water flowing out of my pores. It was not just little sweat drip balls. It was, I was like instantly soaked. As he's pouring water over that and chanting with the drums, not only did my physical self have an outpouring of sweat, an outpouring of, of this heat, but my body began to release emotional things that I was attached to. My mind began to release emotional ideas, ideas that I was attached to. And it was a powerful letting go, a powerful release. And then as I walked out of the, the sweat lodge and laid right down into the uh, melted snow that was coming down in the stream, that ice water just flowing over me, just cleansing my pores, just opening up all the way. It was an amazingly transformal, uh, transformational experience for me. Just, I felt released and cleansed of all these old ideas that no longer served me. All these ideas that, that were holding me back from being the best person that I could be for others. And, I just felt all the joy, all the love, all the things that I know are good inside of all of you, that you have inside of you, that you want to bring to the surface. And I, and I'm, I, want, I share this because I want to challenge you to go inside and find that place inside that is that beautiful part of you, that giving, loving, peaceful, kind, compassionate, caring person that you are, that I know all of you are. I know that because you're that way with family. You're that way with the people you love. You're that way with close friends. You're that way with your pets. I, I know we can be that way more often is to bring that forward because sometimes it gets squashed down by the negative events that happen in our lives, the stresses of work, of travel, of all the different things that are going on, the things breaking and all the annoyances. They can, they can change the way that we think about things. And I challenge you to try to go inside, whether it's meditation or sweat lodges like I did or whatever form or, or, or passion, whether it's just a great workout where you just let yourself go into that workout all the way and you feel that just release, but also let go of those negative ideas that hold you back from being the best person you can be. Those negative emotions that are, that are taking your time and your energy. Because when you release those, now you have all that energy that you are not wasting on that negativity, that you are not using up on negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative people on social media, whatever. Take that energy and use it to 
to make a powerful statement for you saying, I am going to be a different person. I am going to be the one that makes a difference in this world. So that's what I want to leave you today. This is New Year's Eve. It's a time to let go of the frustrations, the anger, the resentments, the disappointments that we've had in 2020 and say, I'm going to make 2021 a kick-ass year. Yes, it's still going to have its challenges, but remember, that's exactly what we do in the gym, what we do in sports, is we are challenged, and that allows us to rise to our best self. Rise to your best self. Be that best person. Take good care of yourself. Make a commitment to health, fitness, and nutrition, and you will feel the rewards. Thank you for joining me on another Facebook Live. I hope you enjoyed this one. Like or share if you feel so inclined. I'll talk to you next week. I'll talk to you next year. <laughs>